change your social media habits. I know this is gonna be very, very difficult to do for most people. But if you want things to change, it's very important that you at least try to do a digital detox to some degree at least. It doesn't need to be perfect. If you want to achieve your goals, if you want to go after the things that are purposeful and meaningful to you, you have to avoid anyone or in this case, anything from sucking away your time. And of course, nowadays there are so, so many distractions. And on the other hand, you only have so much energy, time and especially attention. So many things nowadays are vying for your limited attention, especially social media, Instagram, TikTok, Facebook, X and what have you not. Just think about it. The moment you wake up, what do you do first? Do you prepare your mind for the day so that you're in the right mindset to go after your goals? Or is it more likely that the first thing that you're going to do is to take your phone and open Instagram? Also consider when you have spare time in the day, for example, you're waiting for the bus or an Uber. What do you usually do? You pull up your phone and look at fill in your favorite social media platform. Now, if you want to change your life this year, you got to start and do some kind of digital detox which means severely limiting your social media use. And you can do it however you like. You can go cold turkey and quit all social media at once, close your accounts, delete your accounts. But I think that in order to get the benefits, you don't even need to go that far. It could be enough to just simply limit your social media use to, let's say, three times a day, five minutes each. So you can apply whatever rule that suits you. One thing that I've done a few years ago and that I would recommend everyone to try at least once in your life is I quit Instagram for two years. And yes, I even closed my account. I deleted my account and I didn't have access to Instagram for two years. And in that time, I got so much done. I finished producing my two feature films in which I also acted and I managed to make my move to Canada where I'm living now. And guys, I just have to tell you that during that time, I didn't miss Instagram at all. So try it for a while. Either delete your Instagram apps from your phone for a specific time or just come up with rules for yourself by which you limit your social media use.